What do we want from Ark Survival Ascended? Good question, Anthony. That is a good question. Yeah, because we're going back. We soon think, yeah, we decided, all right, let's pull the trigger. Let's go back to Ark. And I'm going back. I did Ark for five years. Yeah. It was a long time, a long run. How big was your break? Uh, well, the entirety of Grounded. Was Sea of Thieves, yeah. Grounded, uh, Rust, and Gen Zero. Was it a couple years, though? At least, yeah. It was like yeah. So a good last break. couple three, yeah. Yeah. And we should be playing it this week with all new PCs. Yep. We yep. got new PCs yep. from Zydex, sponsored by Zydex. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Zydex uh, hooking <laughs> us up. Yeah. So, I mean, I think. What has me most excited about it is just the way the game looks now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, yeah with a new PC, it's like, good God, that's going to look pretty. And I've seen some people do, like, what you can do now with the cinematic tools is like, oh, wow, that looks really good. Yeah. I remember when you pulled up that camera mode or whatever, photograph mode or whatever. Yeah, we were playing with it when it first came out. And that was what made me go, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it's crazy. And that's like, that has nothing to do with gameplay or whatever. It's just like seeing that made me excited to do it. Yeah. Is that the one with the smoothness now? Like, you yeah. Can smoothly look around. Yeah. And, no, okay. it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting when we're in all in there uh, following somebody around. I mean, we got to, we obviously got to play with it. A, yeah, a bunch I'm still more. getting into it. And but, learning. oh my God, it's going to look pretty. It's going to look pretty. Yeah, it is. We got new 4K monitors coming. Hell yeah. Uh, this is going to be the first official series fully in 4K. Look at um, us. Look we, at us jumping into the future. About yeah. time. 2013 is here. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're doing it. But for this game, you need the new computers to play it because our, our current ones would not yeah. run at 4K at anything you would want to watch. Right. No, so we'll be doing this on Ultra Shit. Hopefully, yeah. It's going to look exciting. nice. exciting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That is exciting. Yes, okay. and, and Neebs isn't here. Neebs has been playing the most of it. Yeah, he's been playing, he's been playing solo um, at home. Neves is the most excited to get back into it. Sure, yeah. he, I know oh, yeah. he, he genuinely loves uh, like the end game. He, he likes the game. Yeah, I like the game when you're just like surviving on a beach. It's the it's the end game stuff that I'm like I don't even want to touch. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't care. But uh, like I I want to focus more on building in this series. Yeah, like I really want to like all right pick locations and go like all right I'm gonna build something cool in this location. Awesome. And the yeah. building is supposed to be much 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 better. It was. I mean yes. you yeah. tested so I mean that's that's a big deal. It's been streamlined. There's less of having to spawn each individual item. So like one wall can be the wall, the door, the window, this that you know. Has much the, easier. Has there been any changes since? Because it's been obviously it's been out for a minute. Um, there was that community modded map, not mod, uh, community made map that released for that, the game. Yeah, that's what, Svartalheim or something like that? Something and like that. I got, I was more intrigued on that. I mean, but we can look at it. We well, should look at it just for the, it to be different. I know we talked about going to the island. Well, the island is yeah, different. Yeah, I know. The yeah. island is We've the one We've never map. done the island. We did oh. it for like three or four episodes. Right. Okay. Right, that's the Early thing. days, Thick edited those actually. Like, mm -hmm. he did that until you guys went to the center for a few and then I took over right then. So I've never actually done the island myself. Okay. Yeah. I, I would think the island, I've heard about it for so long. I, I think that's the way to go because yeah. people have talked about it for so long, too. All right. Majority, you got it. Right, but we yeah. can go to that new map as well. I'm glad that's that true. there's two. We can start on the island. And then Mos I, know, I know they were going to release the Ascended version of uh, Scorched Earth. Yeah. That's coming. I don't know if I have any desire to go back to Scorched Earth. It's all uh, desert. We we. Yeah, we we did no. that well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like oh, that's we... when I came in, I believe. Yes, um, you flew a dragon in. Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> in full on like, cheap. Hello. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> How long did you not play? I mean, up until then, it was all of the right. and it was like not even the beginning of that. Yeah, so a hundred episodes or something, <sighs> maybe. maybe. Bye. Like, it's crazy. Crazy. I loved yeah. every bit of it. Listen, I'm excited about getting into. Uh, I, I'm okay. I, I yeah. was the naysayer. <laughs> I mean, I, I I was a bit of a naysayer too because I don't, again, I do not like Ark's end game, like the like the later when you got to go into caves and shit. I'm just like I don't find any of that fun. Gotcha. Yeah, I but, think that's where we left Ark off. Is yeah. everyone kind of with a sour taste in their mouth because of Genesis two? Yeah, that's a yeah that that's map, unfair. That map did suck. Yeah. Now, <laughs> to, to mind you, I enjoyed the end of uh, of Genesis two. But that's because I came in to edit the last few episodes and we just gave up on caring about the game. Right. right. And we did silly stuff like the Halo episode yeah. and the D Story Neebs episode. Right. So and we got I think we focus more on that aspect. I want to carry like, more. Let's just get in and just have some fun yeah. and not right. worry about trying to go into caves and find fucking, right. what are they, the artifacts. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. No. Screw all that. I've it's been... our own shit. Make yeah. our own fun. Yep. And our own, you know, whatever it be, stupid competitions or whatever it is, you know, something. Something. Yeah. yeah. I've been yeah. saying if we make a slingshot, let's do a bit about the slingshot. 
you know, I think as we played Ark, a lot of times it came up, we've done it. We've done it. Why are we going to tame a raptor again? Why are we going to tame this again? But I think we reset. Let's do everything again and see what happens. Sure. It's fun. Let's focus on the little stuff, the little adventures. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's I want to see how many raptors I can get. Okay. Like, I want a pile of raptors following me everywhere I go. Defend me. Just yeah. so, yeah. Because uh, I don't be have great. to deal with any bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Hell, I, I wouldn't mind starting a new, uh, member, um, you know, member Simon, our T Rex army. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Weren't they all Italian names? Yeah, they, they sure were. Italian family. Family. was definitely in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was a lot yeah. of stereotypical. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was um, fun, though. I enjoyed that more than. Any of the other times we played, yeah. I think we had a good... Because we were, like, role-playing in the... It's a gimmick. It's fun, though. For sure. You're doing it. I tamed Dodos because it was fun for that reason. Yeah. Why? Yeah. I don't know. It's fun. I have 40 I, of them now. <laughs> having a flock, and then, you know, especially if they're pretty easily tameable. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're going to do mods. Maybe. I was going to bring that up next. Is yeah. We, there, there are several mods that, um, after you've seen that, like, add content to the maps. Yes. In a way. Yeah. You know, when you play Ark so many times, you go behind a waterfall... And there ain't nothing. Right. Nothing there. These mods will add little points of interest or, or things you can find and just flesh the world out a little bit. I okay. mean, to me, that can easily fill so much of future episodes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just something to engage with. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, that was always a big problem with the ARCs maps. Right. It's like, okay, it's like you got this big, beautiful map that you want to explore, mm-hmm. but there's no reward for exploring. Right. Other than seeing the next great view, you're finding shit behind what seems like it would have shit behind. It's like, oh, there's a waterfall. Oh, there's a cave behind the waterfall. What's in here? Nothing. Why? And that's why we defaulted to the artifacts as a thing to drive us because it was a good way to do that. But other mods that might just add different dinosaurs or different abilities of a dinosaur. What if a crocodile spits fire now? React to that. Or can fly. Good luck. Yay. You know, yeah. I, I don't know if that's a thing. I'm just saying or, stuff like that. Right. It'll be yeah. a new reaction each time. What about wingsuits? We, we, what about wingsuits? What about Meaning them? like if they're not already or things that are only particular to one map that we could take and go, hey, you know what? Let's make sure that we can have wings. Were know, those not particular every... to one map? I'm I not, thought I don't... they were. That's a good memory, Simon. I don't know. I, I don't thought think so. If that's the case, I, uh, but I, <laughs> I think well, they came out when one map came out. But I don't. Th- but then I think you could use them across I think multiple we, maps. Okay, I think I thought we only used them in hmm. one map. But anyway, there are some things I think that are only in obviously with uh, animals. It, it does mm-hmm. happen. So yeah. hopefully, yeah, and hopefully we can add. I mean, as or... as they keep adding more animals, I'm sure we can just go. Okay, add those animals to our server. Mm-hmm. I think we did that a little bit. Remember when I screwed yeah. up the magma dragons? Oh, I, I do and remember. They were everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they <that> were. <laughs> yep. And they killed um, uh, Neebs's a uh, ladybug. Lady. That's like my favorite yeah. scene. You're flying around as terrible Iron Man. Horrible Couldn't Iron Man. Couldn't find them to help. <laughs> Couldn't use it well. And they're Watched running for their happen. lives with hundreds of explosions. It was a great scene. Over it there. was dramatic. What I'd, what I'd like with mods is if, yeah, Anthony, you're kind of show running this. Yeah. Uh, you kind of spearhead what mods to install on everyone's uh, art game. Right. And, but don't tell us. Let right. us surprise Most of you yes. will not know. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah. I think yeah. that that's a genuine reaction. Maybe to the, it maybe in the video. Well, maybe this could be how you structure the video too. It's like okay, you know, guys, in this episode, I've added this mod. Let's see if how they react. Freeze frame. It's like pause. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this episode. Okay. They don't know that the alligators <laughs> can grow ten times their size and breathe fire and breathe right. fire and yeah. fly and then shrink. Right. If that so if that's that's that was really a mod. If it's, if it's a mod, episode. that would be amazing if it <laughs> yeah. was. But just someone, making it up. Someone can. Someone do that. Now, all Perfect. of the dinosaurs are CJ from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> yeah. What about, <laughs> that would be a great episode. What about raptors look so weird? It's like, yeah, everyone looks like Shrek. What the fuck's happening? Yeah. <laughs> we should build a coliseum and yeah. throw down bats for dinosaur fights. Deal. Let's do it. It'll be like Pal World, Pokemon Battles. Sure. Be fun, huh? Yeah. yeah. Got kind of a prize fighter. I mean, that dinosaur that is the, exactly the kind of thing. As, much, as many... <laughs> Ways is we can, you know, all the stupid completely mm-hmm. manipulate the world and go, yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna have some. We fun. have some ideas. I'm excited to get back. The game's pretty. Um, I haven't done Spectator in a while, uh, which is where you know one of us breaks away in a camera for Grounded. You guys did it yourselves. Gen Zero didn't have anything. Right. Sea of Thieves didn't have anything. So it adds a bit of an artistic ability on my end to. It's fun. Express. You, oh, you're man. more uh, connected to it then. Yeah, and I also would like edit it when I'm recording it, in a way. Like, I, I get the shot. Oh, they said that? Let me move. They said that? Let me move. It just, I missed that part, so. Gotcha. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be fun. You're going to have a pretty damn good camera. Oh, yeah. 
But for thumbnails and everything, too, that thing looks, yeah. Yeah, great. yeah. You can, Arc makes it easy. Yeah, you'll himself. have all the tools you need. Mm-hmm. Jelly. <laughs> That's fun. I'm okay. going back. I was going to go back for Arc 2. Where the hell's Arc 2? I... Technically, if anyone cares about the, the mythology and lore of Arc, technically the Arc series ended before Versus with you, Simon, uh, with Vin Diesel and that That's teaser. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I added your hair to Vin Diesel and you're crashing into Arc 2. So what? how are we going to explain this? <laughs> Easily. It was a dream. It was all a dream. Or who cares? <laughs> <I forgot about. laughs> it was like a stupid Marvel ending where it's like, right. Arc 2, it, we will be back. We don't have to address that. No. Um, in any way. No, We're retconning no. it completely. No, yeah, it might yeah. be. Is that game even going to come out ever? Probably it, not. Yeah. Do people give a shit? I After mean, it was exciting when it when they were starting to put some things out, but then it's the crickets. Yeah, after Arc Ascended, it kind of really quelled a lot of. It's interesting. Hype. Watch, we're gonna start Arc Ascended, and it'll be out. Arc two drops. Arc two yeah. will drop, and we'll just teleport. It's, it's the, the hottest shit. Yeah, the day. Yep. The day we start Arc, Arc Ascended, it's like all right, Arc two's out. Well, you know what's good? We don't Check have out. a goal. We don't have the artifacts. We can end it whenever we want. It's true. The oh, artifacts. Arc two's out. Let's go play. Yeah. Artifacts. Yeah. Sure. What do you think is going to come out first, GTA 6 or Arc 2? We'll <laughs> we got Arc 2 before bits. GTA 6. Yeah, I see that's my guess is Arc 2. <laughs> so, so you see this as something that we're completely breaking the wall hard when it comes down to like mods and going, okay, let's spawn in 20, Maybe. 100 of these or 50 of these because it takes, which to me, doesn't have to not show HUD or not show our manipulation mm -hmm. for it to, it could still be cinematic. As long as you guys don't know, fine. Spawnings might be a bit much. I kind of want the game's mods to do it randomly and just see what happens. Yeah. But who knows? I might. Keep it natural. I might spawn something, but you don't know. Right. Okay. I'll tell you, it's happened and, in and seven days before. Show it. Got it. <laughs> Jack's done it. Jack has oh, a problem. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he yeah. likes to watch you guys suffer. Yeah, I no, trust yeah, him. yeah. Jack wants to see us die, which Old is great. Giggling I like Jack that. over there. <laughs> I like that a lot. Probably giggling when he spawns twenty five zombies. He is giggling. I hear him right Tonight's behind not, me. Horde night's not too good. Let me add a few. Oh God, <laughs> he's the worst. But yeah, he is the worst. He, you know, it was fun taking that little trip with him. It was. Yeah, you guys are lucky. You got to see Dune too. Yeah, yeah. Early. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and Jack got to go with us. Yeah. He did. He's, it was a bonding moment. You guys got sure. He got to go to L.A. before I ever did. It's been <laughs> yeah. 10 years. Can yeah. I come on one of these trips? You have yeah. been on a trip. I've not, been with you. No, it's to San Francisco. Oh, you poor to kid. To Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh, not to L.A. But no, I was out of the not country. Not to L.A. Yeah, all the times you've gone to L.A., and the amount of times you guys go, remember when we were in L.A.? I'm like, nope, never did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll get the next one. Yeah. yeah, he was excited. Um, no, I'm glad. Who did he get to meet? Who was that? Oh, uh, Shroud. Oh, shit, Shroud. Shroud. I heard he was geeking out about that. He did geek out. <laughs> That's about right. It. Yeah. He was so happy, man. Just all smiles. Jack. Good for him. <laughs> I had no idea who Shroud was. Yeah, no, I may have heard. Jack was like, I've never been starstruck before. But I, kind of <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I watch that guy all the time, or I used to. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. He's like, Neebs Gaming, who are they? Whatever. Yeah. Well, Shroud, Shroud. Like, had a little posse around him. I think they were just other people at the event. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> yeah. he's a big name. Yeah, I guess. I've Is heard he, of him. Oh. I, I haven't really watched him, but I've heard of him. I yeah. wish I would have uh, asked who, which one he was. <laughs> yeah, I don't even remember. He puts up, like, Dr. Disrespect numbers of watching him stream. From what I've heard, yeah. He's a big, big, big like, guy. He's got, like, you know, 15, 20,000 people on the rig watching him stream. Damn. Yeah, it's a lot of people. It really is. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a big old yeah. crowd. Yeah. 20K. And to maintain that when you're streaming, you know, obviously we edit shit. And, you know, we've got our wonderful community watching us stream and stuff. But, like, to maintain that amount it's crazy. while you're streaming really is crazy if you yeah. think about it. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of fucking people. Like, it's more people than the were at a Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift concert. concert. That's the first yeah. thing that popped into <laughs> right. my head. Yeah. No, Taylor Swift is selling out 60,000. 60,000? 60. She's selling oh. out fucking stadiums. Jesus Christ. How is she not oh, selling out Oh, yeah, you're right, stadiums. though, because when I She's saw Metallica last year, it was like 60 some thousand. Can they 70, fit that? Oh, I didn't know. I don't know. Depends oh, on what stadium. You could fit at. fucking college stadiums, 100,000 people. Yeah, it's true. There's some big stadiums out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sports. Sports is big All business. Right. Well, anyway. Shroud up your game. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyways, I'm excited to get back to ARC. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Was there anything? Was there anything else? Yeah, I was just trying Let's to Let's not leave out, out any details while mm -hmm. we have Anthony here. No, well, we're literally supposed to be starting the week that this podcast comes out. Hopefully. We're supposed to be recording, hopefully. Yeah. That's yeah. The, that's got to get all the new crossed. PCs up and running. Mm -hmm. So, And if that's the case, then that would mean if that's on schedule in just a few weeks, you might be seeing episode hopefully. one. Hopefully. Maybe so. And sure. the exciting part is, like, this is going to be the 
prettiest stuff you've seen from us. Yeah, technically. Technically. Yeah. That's why I wanted to do it with Arc Ascended. Like, if we sure. did seven days in 4K, it's like, that, eh. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, but yeah, Arc Ascended, it's one of those games that actually looks bad if you don't have the settings on yeah. Ultra. Yeah. I've turned it down to play it at home, and it, I'm just like, this is <laughs> this looks ew. Like, yeah, gross. Doesn't ew. do it justice. No, right? not yeah. at all. You might as well play the old one. <laughs> no, it is pretty, yeah. so yeah. we can convey okay, that. Games, yeah, games are getting prettier and prettier. Is It'll the be fighting art. supposed to be? I forget. Uh, let's not but, talk about that. Okay, can, the fighting in the game? Not that I know of. You, what, but that maybe it's they not changed? changed? Maybe they changed. No, it's, they did. it's not changed much. It's, it's still just same. bite. Yeah. That's my biggest thing. Yeah, no, it's a, and that's that's it, because it is it, at its core, it is old arc. Yeah, yeah. and he, yeah, it's just like okay, yeah, it's just two creatures kind of biting inside of each other. Yeah, like the, there's no collision or anything. The hand maybe hand, maybe arc two will have more of that. Hand to hand? I think arc two yeah, is going to have more of that. Yeah, I thought the hand in hand was yeah. the big issue. I thought that was changed, but maybe not. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. I know there's babies. There are babies. babies. <laughs> yeah, babies That's right. Now you that you steal, can steal babies. Yeah. Aww. Instead that of having to tame shit, That's I love true. that. That's oh, yeah. cool. It's like, okay, we don't have to tame shit. You just see a baby, kill mama, take baby. You're just going to have a house full of 100 Jerboas or Maybe. 100 yeah, oh, whatever. I'm, oh, I'm going to get all the Jerboas. It's yeah. going to be straight weird. But Real the fun quick. will be not the combat. It'll be you guys dicking around in the Ark world. That's yeah. always been my favorite part. Action scenes are fine, but I like when you guys are just sitting in a room yelling at each other. Yeah, that's common. Yeah, that's, that's, the best, that's the best part. So... Let's capture those moments. Okay. Yeah. Have yeah. some fun. Get back in there. All right. All right. So coming soon. Yes. Anthony, everybody. Anthony. 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 Hey, Anthony. 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 You are so good. Okay. He's going back to his trailer. And in his trailer, there's no doubt he'll be using Wi-Fi to traverse the internet game and what have you. Of course. But using public Wi-Fi is a horrible way to keep your online data and identity secure. And that's why we all need NordVPN. Damn right, because if you use public Wi-Fi on a regular basis, NordVPN is a must and will protect your connection on every network. And it's so easy to use. You could always be connected to it or you could just connect with one click. And one of the many reasons I use Nord is to just be my backup because it's easy to make a mistake. And it's crazy to think what just one wrong click can do to your computer or your bank account. But with NordVPN, they have the tools to protect you and reject the threats that come at you. And I just came up with that. So go to NordVPN.com slash Neebs and get four extra months with a two-year plan. And try it risk-free now with a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's a two-year plan plus four extra months. I smell a good deal. Thank you, NordVPN. Yeah. We're also starting uh, in Shrouded. I'm working on the first episode right How's it now. going? It's, it's going good. Yeah, I like the first episode. Um, still got some more to do on it, but yeah, that's going to be fun. Are we recording that again soon? We need to, yeah. Um, Just got to uh, wait for him. Oh, Neeble. Oh, Neebs. Nope, sorry, Anthony. Excuse me. We right. actually, uh, according to Abstro, uh, we got maybe an episode and a half. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I was, I'm, I'm trying to keep these around 20 minutes. Yeah, that's a pleasant discovery when you've got a little bit more, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. You go, oh, all right, this is a good cut point, and now I have the first half in the next episode. Yeah. So you're, yeah, you're talking about game worlds. Uh, that game world is such a joy to explore to me because it, it, it really, you do get rewarded for exploration. Okay. It's like, yeah. okay, yeah, it's like, oh, what's behind here? Oh, I found a chest. Oh, I found a cool weapon. So it's like, we, oh, it's a little bit better than my old weapon. And even if it's not, you can tear that weapon apart and get money. Okay. So then you could use that money to upgrade the weapons you do like. It's like, oh man. All right. And yeah. they uh, they released a roadmap recently. They're gonna add a whole bunch of like more NPCs and uh, what else? Hold on, let me look at their roadmap real quick. Y yeah, give us the yeah. roadmap. Uh, yeah, I have to play it a lot. Right, it's more. not in our head yet. Simon. Not even close. It's fresh to us. Um, yeah, you controls guys and everything. We're just babies. It's gonna take a minute for it to like sink in. Yeah. So you're not alone there, Simon. Believe me. No, but there will be there will be frustrations. <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm not even going to say what I'm going to say. I'm going to wait to do it. That's it. That's it. I'm going to fuck talking about. There stuff. will be blood. There will be blood. Yeah. Uh, but it is. Uh, it's a fun world. It is. I'm excited to see more because I've seen very little, and yeah. I've seen kind of the amount I've seen like three separate times when it first dropped. That like. The um the demo, right? 
And then another time I jumped in, played about the same amount, and now this time. So I've played the beginning three times up, and, <laughs> you know, up until about where we are. I'm ready to see some more shit. Yeah, no, you, you'll, you'll be able to explore soon. Yeah. Good. Good. But yeah, they're going to add pets. Yeah. I guess a mountain biome, multiplayer so What pings. kind of pets did they say? I have no idea. So they just want a dog. It'll, there'll be a dog. Yeah, dog would be nice. Uh, it'd be nice if there's a few options. Oh, thank too. God, they're adding signs. That's one of my biggest things. Again, it's not you know you can't craft that sign. Oh, gotcha. Right on. Okay. It's like especially when inventory starts piling up, you go like, oh fuck, what box was that? Yeah. What's in that box? Something about it's just a simple little no brainer for a lot of these games. Like the addition of a pet, a, a little NPC freaking pet following you around just changes the whole vibe, doesn't it? Oh uh, yeah, like, you know it makes you care about you got something to, you know something you're, you're, you're not attached, alone you're attached to this world a little bit more yeah you know and, and I'm sure it'd also be nice too it'd be nice to be able to tell them where to sit and lay down you know when you like go to go to bed yeah and be like oh you lay here you I mean that's kind of arc I mean arc you know you end up having a thousand pets right that's true <laughs> it's true <laughs> you just yeah, tame it so that much is shit true. it'd be I just cool if you could send your pet to like um a trainer for a week and it comes back and it's got other tricks yeah it can roll over yeah <laughs> you like it's just gone for like a week <laughs> but yeah they're adding like uh townsfolk like a lot of the uh, towns you come across are you know they're empty because that world's been destroyed but yeah. i guess some of them are gonna ha be actually populated okay so it's like oh okay we're adding in extra npcs and shit make i uh that, make that world feel a little more lively wonder how the game like overall is just I mean, obviously, they're adding more to it, but I wonder how many people are playing it. I don't know. You know, because like when, when something like that comes out, granted, it's going to be a different audience than a Helldivers 2 audience, but not necessarily. No, not necessarily, because, yeah, I've been playing the shit out of Helldivers 2. And that's kind of my point. So, like, a lot of these devs, when they drop a, a title like Enshrouded and then something like Helldivers 2 comes out, you know they're like, shit, <laughs> shit. Because it's a matter of like how yeah. much attention can you grab when you are the talk of the town. Yeah, I mean, I still think in Shrouded, you know, it's like any of these games, they're going to have their audience. Yeah. Like, you know, um, we, we played the hell out of it. And we, you know, me and a um, group of friends, like, we're into survival games. Yeah. Uh, this came out, Nightingale came out. Uh, this, we, we jumped on and we just loved the fuck out of it. Yeah. Like I said, and I still want to play more. And as long as we played it, like, we, I still haven't seen all the map. The map's gigantic. That's great. Um, but yeah, it always feels very rewarding to explore. It's like, you'll, you know, oh, let me go in these woods. Next thing you know, like, holy shit, I found a tavern, an old yeah. tavern that you could fix up. And like, you know, there's a little story in the tavern. There's chests. It's like, does it's the great. map vary a bunch? Uh, yeah, it has different biomes for sure. It's okay. got like, you know, kind of the grasslands where we're, where you start at. Yeah. And then as you go, you can get into sort of the deep woods. Yeah. Like big trees and like that biome, very rocky and mountainous. Uh, then there's a plains biome where it's kind of grassy, but it's more hilly. Uh, and then there's a full on desert biome oh, that shit. you can eventually get to. Okay. And, uh, yeah, just great locations. Yeah. I keep thinking about some of the spots I've been to. It's like, yeah, that map. I love that map. Cool. Because it's a, yeah, it's just a handcrafted map. And yeah, it's, they made, they did a good job over there at Enshrouded. Um, and you've been getting, uh, quite a bit more Helldivers 2 on? Yeah. Yeah. I've been loving Helldivers 2. Which you know, it's odd. I usually don't like those type of games, so like live service, yeah, type game. Um, but I think held what Helldivers Two does right a couple things. One, it doesn't focus much on story. There isn't much of a story. It's just you're part of a war and go to war. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, and it does that in a comedic way too, which is fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, they they nail the comedy. That's the yeah. thing. It's like they do it perfectly, so that makes it so much better. Yeah, and it doesn't feel like it's constantly trying to sell you something. Like a lot of these live service games, I feel like you pick up and you start playing it and immediately they're just slamming you with ads to buy their oh, currency God. or, oh. you know, it's like cosmetics. and Battle it's like, pass. Yeah, all that shit. And I hate it every time. It just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I don't remember when you brought this up. Probably wasn't the podcast or anything, but um, you talked about essentially there being this one guy. That. Yeah, that's kind of the dungeon master of the whole thing. From what I understand, his name's Joel. Okay. And he's just the guy over there that's in charge of, like, 
the battlefield. Yeah. It's like, okay, what are the robots doing next? What are the bugs doing next? Yeah, the whole... You know, what orders are we going to give the hell divers? I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, what, it's story structure is so stupid and simple. It's wonderful. And you told me about this recent thing that just happened as far as the... Um, I guess a little bit of spoilers, but we did... um Because the video isn't out, but it's like, it's not spoilers. Um, where we did the... The bug spray Yeah, thing. there's a mission where you have to activate this thing and it releases a bunch of pesticide to try to, you know, beat the bugs. And it's like, okay, orders from Super Earth. You got to go and you got to activate these things. And if we do it, we take over this sector. It's like, all right, cool. But uh, then I guess today or maybe yesterday, but they released another update. It was like, uh-oh, the pesticides are having consequences. Now some of the bugs can fly. It's like boom! Now you got a new enemy type flying bugs. Yeah, like, that's awesome. It yeah, is great. but just yeah, that thought process of like, all right, today we're doing this. And yeah, then in a week it's gonna be this. It's yeah. like all right, that's pretty awesome. They're telling a story as dumb as it is. Just yeah. but it's a battlefield. Yeah, yeah. And you're a part of the battlefield. It's wonderful. I mean, from there, I mean, couldn't you just imagine it just blowing up completely? Like as a game developer, that's such a great way to do it. Doing this like kind of like weekly narrative. To the yeah. point where at the end of the season, quote unquote, the season, you know, you've got this big finale. Yeah. And you think yeah. that it's almost over until it has that cliffhanger oh, for the twists. next season. Yeah. No, and then it's live service done right. I just thought just, of oof. a, I thought of a new one for them. If they're listening, I'm sure they, the hell diver people. I'm sure Joel's, <laughs> what's up, Joel? What's hey, up? Joel. Hey, hey. Joel. Hey, what, what, Joel? <laughs> um, so obviously we have the insects um, or the bugs and we've got the automatons. Um, and I heard, like, in Helldivers 1, there was a third. Yeah, there's, like, an alien race. Something. Yeah. Sure. And I'm sure this will probably include that and something else, but I thought of another faction that could come in. What was that? Zombified Helldivers that have died. Ooh, that'd be oh. cool. So Zom- it's like a zombie mode, but it's, like, all these Helldivers <laughs> that have fucking lost That's their lives. That's good <laughs> Idea. And they've got like the shit that was on them. They don't really know how to use it because they're zombies. But like, right. yeah, that'd be it's fun. like this. They can uh, you, they can shoot, but it's slow. But it's like, like everything yeah. else is slow. It's like, uh, and, and maybe not that good. Ding. And some have rocket packs <laughs> they can kind of use. Just a swarm. <laughs> yeah. What if they? Yeah. What if they could call in stratagems on you? Dude, <laughs> and they kind of yeah. You see a oh. ball, like green ball, land next to you, and like jo- oh shit, Joel. They're calling in a uh, zombie stratagems. Come this, on now. this is the way to go, Joel, <laughs> down the road. Yeah. Don't rule it out. That's so good. It's worth some money. It's really fucking good, and I expect money. I will yeah. sue. Right. You guys all heard this now. and It's yeah. officially our idea. <laughs> yeah, it's our it, Helldivers. It's Helldivers is us. Yeah, it now. is our game. We developed We've it. We've taken it. Now, you, know, you know what else I appreciate about that game? No damage numbers. Yeah. It doesn't, like, to me, damage number. Anytime I see damage numbers in a game, I feel like it's the it's a lazy cop out. It's like you shoot something and you just see like 10. And my or, brain doesn't care because I don't know what the overall n- numbers they had in the first place were. Yeah. So well, I see numbers that mean it's nothing. It's one of those things that some people do like to see. Like, okay, how uh, this gun I shoot, it does 10. And then, oh, but if oh, I shoot yeah, with this right. gun, it's like, you're oh, right. that gun does 13. You're absolutely right. Um, And I get that. I get, I get it in certain games, but with shooters, I never liked it. A tiny health bar is fine. Yeah, see, I don't even like that. No, I know, it's but me, you know, it, I think Hell Divers too. Again, like, and that's why I've enjoyed it. It feels more immersive because you see your bullets doing damage. You see what's happening to them. Yeah, and so the bugs will bleed. Like I know the uh, the chargers. If you like shoot them enough, they'll start bleeding out. So you just know visually, I've damaged this thing. Right. Mm-hmm. It's like that's the way to do it. I yeah. mean, it's more it's more work on a dev it's, side. Yeah. It's like you could do health bar and damage numbers, but or just make it look like your characters are getting damaged. That tells the player that exactly. yes, they are they are being damaged. Now nah, that's the right way. Yeah. That's the right way, people. Fucking so good numbers. for you, Joel. Even yeah. though Joel. No, I'll be good for the I've whole team. Like they really, that, of course, yeah. Because the first Hell Divers, like I went and looked at it. I was like, "What does the first one look like?" It's like a top down. I know. Thing. It's really different. Like, wow, that's a whole different type of game. They went balls in. Yeah, they just said, "All right, we're gonna do this," but on like we're gonna scale it up. Yeah, and yeah, that's wonderful. And look, look forward to the uh, the Hell Divers series coming on Max <laughs> next year. <laughs> I can see that. Okay. Yeah, me too. May, maybe that's the thing. That story is so simple. I it's know. Like, you really gonna do a show on that? No, they're not. I, do. I just made it. that up. 
But, oh, uh, but uh, but being the spoof that it is would brought, would have a lot of opportunity for comedy. And it's just Starship yeah, Troopers. We all know that. Yeah. yeah, but the extreme of what it is, yeah. it's it's the obvious well done spoof because anyone could spoof shit. It's just Man, to me, it's done great. If if they did a series, they we're just spec- this is ridiculous. They had a series, but it was in line with the game, uh, its development. Like if if. Say it was like, you know, what was Game of Thrones was like every Sunday, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. The release. If, if it was something like that, you don't, you couldn't watch them all just at once. And that episode, the most recent episode, tells you where that next week's game update is yeah. going to go as yeah. far as the story if it, it was, if they were linked together successfully, that'd be an accomplishment. That'd and, be a massive, oh, yeah. and really something to fucking marvel at. I think. Yeah, I mean, that would. Yeah, that take a massive amount of coordination. It really would. But yeah. Fuck, if you could pull it off, that'd be amazing. It would be. Yeah, for someone to have both. Yeah. Because in the show, two mediums doing that in the series, you'd be seeing like everyone all week's been releasing the pesticide in that one mission we did. Yeah. And in the series, you see them doing that, and they're like, "Oh shit, this isn't good." <laughs> They can fly now. And then next week's update has flying insects. Like, fucking... Yeah, I would be impressive enough just to do it from season to season. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're right. You know, and, and it's just at that time. Where but, you like, like, we're at the... 2024, man. Like, it could happen. Oh, yeah, yeah it oh, could. It 100% could. Yeah. It could. Yeah. Joel? Joel depends on what age. <laughs> Jot yeah. that Joel? your notebook, Joel. Right. <laughs> Long well, you think, you know... Because even what we did with a uh, battle bit friends, yeah, it's like that kid can turn that animation around pretty quick, right? Stuff like that with mocap. It's like you could design a show where you know, you know, have some good scripts, seven eight episodes, and then mocap a lot of it. I mean, with the hell divers, you know, models, yeah, put the show together and have that released alongside the game, and yeah. it would probably do very well. It inspire you and uh, motivate you uh, more along with the loose storyline they got going anyway yeah maybe we could team up with them it's like yeah, hey, i don't know guys, why come not on. come on let us write you scripts we'll be we some should, voices we gotta check our emails surely <laughs> we've missed an email right. at some point sure that'd be fun yeah hell divers oh yeah games games there's too many of them there are i hate that anthony's in the bathroom so long he, he really takes his time in there well, you well gotta he, go? he's not coming he's tinkle. not doing this anymore. oh do you have to tinkle because <laughs> no, he's gonna he, he left us yeah i know he's in his trailer which yeah. is the bathroom. Yeah. Fair enough. Make this year kick ass with a box of awesome from Bespoke Post every month. The box of awesome is filled with carefully chosen gear from the best small brands around the world. You want to see what I got this month? It's a Damascus steel knife made by Bucking Bear Knives. And Damascus steel knives are known for their extraordinary hardness because it's made with a wavy surface pattern produced by hammer welding strips of steel and iron filed by repeated heating and forging. And it's a work of art. I love it. And I'm going to use this every time I go camping. And whether you want to drink and eat more awesome, dress and travel more awesome, or just explore more awesome, the box of awesome is for you. So how do you get started? You take the quiz at boxofawesome.com and your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you. It's free to join and they release new items every month across a ton of different categories and 90% of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from a small and up and coming brand and you get a free mystery gift with your first monthly shipment when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter code NEEBS at checkout for a free mystery gift with your first monthly shipment. So where do you go? You go to boxofawesome.com and use code NEEBS. Oh, he's coming out. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. Now hey, we're buddy. going to turn this into hey. a thing. Hey, hey. Anthony. <laughs> hey, Anthony, we were just talking about you. Oh, what's going on? This is yeah. how we so do were in the there podcast. For a while. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I guess you need content. Talk we, about it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so. Well, you mentioned uh, Starship Troopers. It was funny. Like, I saw uh, numbers-wise, Starship Troopers got a bump in views. Of course it did. Just because, like, and even Jack. Jack yeah. watched it. He had never seen it First before. Time. It was an old movie. It's something about just being reminded about shit. Yeah. And it, like, it put it back in your head. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm, I like that. I haven't yeah. thought about I that in a minute. I haven't seen that movie in 20 years. Let watch me go that. back and watch that. There was a... See if it holds up. A couple friends I ran into last night happened to be randomly talking about that movie called uh it was i think neeb saw it and it was about like this alternate kind of reality same reality but like this one dude i think it's a dude is in this world that 
it's just our world. But he realizes that the Beatles don't exist. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yesterday. This movie? Yesterday. That's the... I never saw it, but... I never saw it either, but the fact that it came up in conversation last night reminded me, like, shit, I want to watch that. I heard it was... Yeah. Good, but I would have forgotten about it forever if I never heard someone talk right, about it yeah. again. You know? Yeah. Yeah, the concept of that movie is just a guy wakes up and realizes no one's invented the Beatles. Yeah. It's just a... It's yeah. all in his head. That's they neat. didn't exist. Yeah, yeah. so he, he ends Googled up... It's a fun concept for a movie. It's like, Agreed. yeah, I want to watch that. That's and silly. he wrote the songs, right? <laughs> I think so, yeah. He tries to write the songs. Well, yeah, he becomes famous because of them. Oh, okay, spoiler. Yeah. yeah. I think. I, I, that's it was in I the trailer. Too. Yeah, I Oh, so. okay, gotcha. Sorry. Yeah. Great I never concept. Saw the movie. He Googled them, and they didn't come up on Google, so they don't exist, and like he knows all the songs. But also, <laughs> I heard that not just the Beatles were exempt from that, whatever... Things like Coca Cola. There were like a bunch of things. Just he just well known brands up. that just don't exist all of Some a sudden. Some stuff, yeah. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, it's a cool idea. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I'm going to watch that, I guess. Man, it's like I've, I've always had a dumb idea, and it's, it looks like it's actually being turned into a video game. Have you guys seen the trailer for uh, Kings? Kingmaker? No. Kingmaker. Kingmaker. It's about. I should just play the trailer. All right, play the trailer. I should just play the trailer. Yeah. Did it let you down? Or are you excited? Oh, I'm super excited. Okay. I've always like had this like idea. It's like that'd be cool if you could do that, and then like someone's making a game about it. If you think you can stop him, you're already dead. Oh yeah. Uh, makes me think of Army of Darkness, actually. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so you're setting all of these automa all these players to automatically fight while you're amongst them. Yeah, there's like there's a moment in the trailer coming up. Yeah, grenade launchers. It looks good. Nah, this looks fun as hell. Looks like hell divers. <laughs> this is supposed to have co-op. But yeah, that where you can zoom out and tell an army. Yeah. Like, no, oh yeah, you guys Fuck go yeah. over here. <laughs> 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 How stupid. Exactly. Well, yeah, that concept of just being able to go back in time yeah. and uh, just bring modern weapons to a fucking medieval fight. Like, yeah, I'm in. That sounds amazing. Or the future, apparently. Yeah, yeah. It ends with kind of an intriguing, like, well, what's going on here? Interesting. It's okay. like, it's so dumb yep. that I'm just like, yes, I want this game immediately. <laughs> Yeah, all right. But yeah, apparently also supposed to be co-op, so you can hop in there with a, either a friend or friends. I don't know if multiple people can be in, but that'd be cool. Yeah. It's, and it's coming soon. 2024, so sometime this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's just one one of the recent trailers I saw. I was like, wow, that uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm in. This I'm game looked cool. Pardon me while I take a tinkle. Go for it. Get your tinkle on. Tinkle, tinkle. I started uh, to try to play Poppy's Playtime 3. Okay. Because I was like, oh, for the dumpster, you know, maybe I'll right. give that a shot. And then I pretty much gave up after like 15 minutes. I'm like, really? this is going to be too hard. Uh -oh. It's like, I forget how long it took me to do the first one. <laughs> and this is going to be so much more where I've just been discouraged. And uh, I was just trying to figure something to talk about. So I figured yeah. I'd throw that out at Poppy's you. Poppy's plates. Are, are you playing any games solo at home right now? Uh, just seven days, which I have now... I got... Yeah, I did see you hop in that the other day. Yeah, yeah. I was playing... I think I got, like, I have five episodes of that. Oh, cool. F four of them are done. The fifth one's I'm working on. Is this just dumpster? Just you solo? Just yeah, chilling out? Yeah, just, like, starting from nothing and just, yeah. you know, surviving. <laughs> I love that you've really taken to that game. Yeah, it is definitely the only thing that I would want to go in as of right now. I want there to be more, though, that I would go in willingly to survive. Which game? Seven days. Sure. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm doing that, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. Well, hey, anytime you see us playing like Enshrouded or something, man, just hop in. Oh, on the dumpster? Uh, yeah, for the dumpster. But Enshrouded, I have to get familiar with and kind of fall in love with it. I want to yeah. fall in love with other games. I don't want it to just be seven days. Yeah. But it is just seven days for me right now, like the, the most in love with any game I've ever been. Yeah. Is it's, that one. I, I'm with you on, on that. Hey, we finished It Takes Two. You yeah, we did. For nice. the dumpster. Man, that was something. <laughs> yeah, what an accomplishment of a game. That what game's great. It's it really was something. Really yeah. is, it was so good. Yeah. They, it, they don't let you get bored. 
No. These die fails. Like every level you get new toys to play with and uh, some new ability. It's amazing how it much up. love went into it, the attention to detail. And oh, I was saying like genius. just in, in some moments that you might see for a few moments. Yeah. And you're like, holy shit, they went all out for those few moments or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, I love it. No, um, it's a great game. Yeah. If uh yeah. Grab main, a friend and play it takes two. Yeah, for sure. It the really main, it makes me want to play that that team's other game. I um I never did. I think it's uh, a way out. I believe it's called. Oh yeah, that's the one. It's like a prison break game. Yeah, but we've more, talked about we did. that. Yeah, I mean that could, that could be a dumpster vid sometime. Just yeah, we check okay. That out. That's, you know what? Yeah, that would be probably great. We actually saw them showing off that game when we were in California. Yeah, right? yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, we saw that guy speaking about it, mm -hmm. and it looked interesting. I think it's just difficult. Yeah, well, that's that's the type of game. From what I understand, it's it's way uh, it's chatty. It's even more so, more chatty than it takes two. Which makes sense because... Yeah, it's a story-driven thing. Now, and there's a lot of other characters. I'm okay with that if they are fucking one... I bet you it's got to be so much better, like, less annoying. Yeah, because we were annoyed at the characters so, in yeah, Takes Two. Yeah, the like, characters the in it Takes Two. It is very... <laughs> I still hate them. I, Horrible. I hate them so much. It's, it's like... I hate the book, too. I want the kid to be happy. I just want the whole thing to be like, we're better off separate and like preaching to the fact that they need a divorce. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know That's yeah. what it's all we were be. doing. And right. like, hey, I respect you. You respect me. Things didn't work out. Right. Let's go yeah. separate. And that's fine. Let's love our daughter. Let's right. make this work. Yes. Yeah. Not, not, not fucking. I'm thinking they're gonna just break up again. Yeah. It's gonna be so much <laughs> no, worse. They're a, they're a wreck. Somebody's gonna be ending up dead. They did not communicate about anything. Awful. Yeah. No, just they're... buying shit. Both of them. Oh man. Did not telling each other. It's a recipe for disaster. They don't yeah. No. It's, it's not the couple you look towards. <laughs> to, to... No. For, uh, kid was inspiration. creepy as fuck too. Creepy ass weird kid. <laughs> <laughs> Great game. Great it's an amazing game. game. Yeah. yeah, amazing. Really that, cool that, that is what it is. Well, it's like the story. I'm like, eh, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, but yeah. gameplay wise, you can't knock it. It's, Man, book, it is fun to play. That book can suck it. Like I liked the book for the first like twenty percent. I was like, this guy's fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at you making me smile. Hey, everybody. And then it went bad. <laughs> Yeah, still great game. It's done on me. I haven't played it. I I just watched um, Neebs and Thick play. Yeah, that and must I never, have been I never, Yeah, it was. It was great. But uh, yeah, I never got to play it myself except for maybe like one or two parts. So we did it in probably six or seven, maybe eight chunks. Yeah. Simon and I. And yeah. what was great about that is like coming back to it after maybe a month in between or more. More. Uh, it's obviously basic gameplay, but like every level you'd have new features right so yeah. it was fresh enough every time that we're like we didn't need to know what we were doing with whatever in the last level it was right, always yeah. new so it's like it oh worked. new level and like oh here new toy yeah it worked out great for the way that we did it and sometimes within like one minute of gameplay it would change like three different types of games that you're playing from yeah different views one of those that was great just crazy weird shit that was just so yeah, all of a sudden Creative. you're in a side scroller platformer. Right. And then yeah. They, yeah. They, yeah. You, you don't have time to get bored in that game. They no. they put about forty games into that game. <laughs> it's what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. It went it all was out. One where I was like, well, you would just whatever it was. It's like you uh, you were a spider on a tree, and you're kind of wrapping around all the limbs, and the way you wrap around the camera kind of follows you around. I'm like, you just had an entire game doing that. Yeah, it was just something appealing about just that. You know, you, yeah, you remember that bug. scene? Yeah, yeah, the way everything just twisted around. It was just like, just so. I don't know. It, it was its impressive. own game, like that. Yeah, it was cool. Anyway, whatever. It's good stuff. Good stuff. The goodest of stuff. Lots of creativity in that one. I had an interesting night last night. What'd you do? Well, the night prior, ran into a buddy of mine, Walker, from the old film industry, and so we we lost. Uh, do you guys remember Dante? bartender yeah who mm -hmm. passed about six yeah. months ago yeah. yeah well i've got a little vial of his ashes now oh really yeah because huh. walker got some from the family i guess because dante and walker were like best friends and um and nobody really wanted it was a, w a weird thing dante was a great guy but like now walker was in charge of the ashes and, and i guess dante wanted to be spread all over so i was like fuck i'll get a little one of those vials i'll put yeah. them somewhere yeah. so now i've got it and it's just a matter of um it's just interesting to have a, a friend's, right? A little bit, a little of, little ashes. bit of ashes. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've right, never, you know, my brother had like my parents' ashes and stuff like that, but like 
It's like, what's up, Dante? <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, but it's like it's a you got to you have to. It's sad that he, he anyone dies, of course, thick, whoever, anybody out there. Um, but then you kind of just have to go to the celebrate them and be happy you ever knew him in the first place mode. Yeah. yeah. I, I got a friend who um, he keeps he has a necklace and he with a little bit of his dad's ashes. Yeah. In the necklace. Yeah. And yeah. He wears it all the time. It's like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm going to spread them somewhere. I just don't know where. But it was like, mm. that wasn't my average evening, getting, uh, getting <laughs> yeah, some yeah. of my buddy's ashes. Yeah. yeah. Like, I oh, want, wow. I want to get rid of the ashes because I'd feel like I'd be the guy that had the ashes of like a loved one around my in around my neck. I lost it. It's like, oh, damn it. I fucking <laughs> lost my ashes. And he got like that some was... kid playing with it, puts it in his fucking yeah. like, you know, yeah. like, oh, I found some jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that'd be a shitty thing to lose. You're like, oh, <laughs> <Right>. damn it. <laughs> Yeah, trust me, I'd lose yeah. it. Like, oh. Oh, well. Yeah. Death <laughs> shit. Didn't want to bring anything down. I wasn't trying to. No, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's just interesting. It's like, yeah, I tried to have a quiet weekend because our, our past few weekends have just been nuts. Yeah. So, yeah, this was like, past weekend was nice. It was like the first weekend I've had was like, okay, we chill out. Tell you what, I did a, uh, a we did animated bad movie night. And had, what uh, was it? We watched this uh, Don Bluth film called Pebble and the Penguin, which was like, uh, just just this old, like, dumb animated thing. It's like Martin Short, and it's terrible. Wow, Don't Martin watch Short. it. What year? Yeah. Must oh. be to guess. I, if 80s? I had to, uh, 90s, if I, I guess. had to guess, like, early 90s? Maybe? Pebble and the Penguin. Because in yeah. the 80s, he was on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. So you go like, yeah, maybe he was just trying to make some money. Yeah, but it was like, uh, we watched that, and then we ended up watching Heavy Metal, which I hadn't seen in, like, Sure. 15 years. No, it's been since I was young. That movie's great. Yeah. Like, it holds up. It's just a, what, four or five short stories. It's called Classic. Yeah. I recommend everybody watch Heavy Metal. A lot of boobs in it. Animated boobs everywhere. And who doesn't like an animated boob? But I like once them. you get past that, it's like, man, it's just so creative and fun, and the music's good. It's like, god damn. Yeah, you can see why this is a cult classic. There you go. This is a fun movie. Yeah. Well, people love that yeah, shit. Yeah, we, we had a good time watching it. It was like, man, I didn't think it would be this engaging yeah because i thought i was like okay it's gonna be like animated boobs and stupid it's, it's, it's gonna be awful you I, I enjoyed it from start to finish very nice well, i don't know if i yeah i don't think i've ever seen it i've just seen little clips and snips yeah come it's worth a watch it really is it's a neat short stories better than that don bluth pe piece of shit man i tell you, I, I respect the fuck out of don bluth because he's one of those he was one of those guys that were like all right fuck you disney i'll do my own thing yeah and he was a great animator uh but yeah it's like eventually it, it caught up to him because he did like Secret of Nim, which was really good. I love oh, that. Was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did a lot of good stuff early on, and then like he ended up going, I think, too childish with his content. It's like he was trying to be that's Disney. Where the money was, I get it. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, hey, Disney's making a killing doing these kid films. I should make my films more kid friendly. But then you lost that charm that like I think Secret of Nim had. Yeah, which it. It didn't feel like a Disney film, and that's what made it amazing. It had a, an adult appeal to it as yeah. well, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's like that character felt real. Like I was, I was, it was invested. So well acted. In, it yeah. was so well and shot. It was, yeah. Everything. Well, it, and it was uh, like, the acting was subtle. Like you watch Pebble and the Penguin, it's Martin Short, and he's like, "Wow, I'm a crazy <laughs> the penguin." Blah, yeah. blah, blah. You watch Secret of Nim, and she's like, "No, I'm trying to help my kid." She's talking like a normal person. Yeah, right. Just grounds it in reality yeah. a lot more, even though it is a cartoon. It's about a mouse, right. but it's just yeah, it just feels better. I will say one thing about Pebble and the Penguin that I did like: uh, Tim Curry is the voice of the villain, and anytime he's on screen, it's just wonderful. Kills it. I mean, it's Tim Curry. Yeah, for he's, sure. He's great, and he's singing songs. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Oh man. It's like I'll get him. You know, he's doing that. Just that Tim Curry. Just what a nut. Yeah, he's wonderful. Um, I listened to a podcast. Well, the one I listened to, but it was about the um, damn it. Come on now. The talk about cult classic, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Right. Mm. And I've never seen that. I need to watch that one. It's been I can't believe you've for never seen that. Yeah. Ever for me, but I, like I've never seen the whole thing all the way through. Obviously, it's what put him on the map. Yeah, and it was he was in the the play version, right? Which was like not in a big theater or anything. So the fact that that all the fact that we got Tim Curry like we do or have, you know what I mean, was just by chance. I mean, it was one of those that because that play did so well over in. Uh, in the UK, I believe, just just one of those kind of crazy, um, right? Yeah, chance. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, he he happened to do the play, and then yeah. he happened to do the 
movie version. Yeah, of the and then play. people loved what he brought to it. Yeah, and, he's got an energy, man. Game oh, on. Yeah. yeah, for sure. He deserved it. God, yeah, he did. He's done so much shit. Yeah, some good, some bad. Yeah, a lot of bad. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Fuck it, he had a good time. Got paid. Yeah, still love his uh, Command and Conquer. <laughs> Spice. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious he did I that. love that clip the clip makes me so happy every yeah, time I watch yeah. it <laughs> he's in it yeah, yeah. I don't know that one he's, uh, he plays a general in Command and Conquer he's like the Russian general and if you beat the Russian side it's like a clip of him plays and he's like I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism space <laughs> just it's the way he does it and you see like if you watch the clip you see tim curry almost break right. like he realizes the line is so stupid right it's just, it, but he goes for it and it's what it was just <laughs> <Yeah>. spice <laughs> it's pretty great oh god yeah, he was yeah. uh, he was wonderful yeah yeah he was in a what hunt for red october home alone 2 uh legend legend oh god i hate that movie <laughs> i that, that's when we watched it bad movie night i think a while back and yeah, I was just like, oh my god, it's not a great movie. Oh my god, this was, this sucks. He was great in Clue. That's right. Clue. Oh fucking yeah. Clue. Clue. That's one I haven't watched. Clue before. holds up, dude. Like yeah. for eight. That's the thing. For that was, 80 shit, man. Yeah, yeah that was. It's it, hard. It, to, if I'm not mistaken, when that was released, there were different endings. There were. Yeah. There were. So like, oh. depending on what theater you went to, what it kind of backfired for them apparently. Well, wait. Really? Yeah. Well, in the movie, yes. When yeah, you had, watch it right now. There are different endings. Right, but when you were in the theater, you would only back get then, one of them. Yes. They weren't showing okay, them all. Because when you watch them now, you yeah. get them oh, all. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> it goes like, or it could have been this. And then it goes. Oh, through that's the how whole they do thing. it. I was about to say, how do they pull the that shit thing? off? All right. I believe. Interesting. So, that's what I no, remember. No, you're absolutely right. Because okay. talking about podcasts, one of them was about fucking Clue. And um, in the theater, it kind of backfired for whatever reason, but like they wanted it to be a conversation starter. The random. Theatrical yeah. ending, which I think is great. It's wonderful. Which one did you catch? And oh, you fucking saw a different ending. Go watch it again. Didn't really work that way, I guess. But right. whatever. Yeah, because I mean, you pre- well, yeah, I could see that working. But I, if you and your friends all go to the same theater, you're just all going to see the same ending. Yeah, of course. So you're not going to be talking, right? To... Are you talking that with might your work better nowadays. Nowadays, like nowadays. With, the, with the internet and shit. Sure. It's like, oh god, wait, there's you know what? You know, liar. That's not how it ended. It's you like idiot. If a movie comes out and has like ten different endings, yeah. You're like, wait, what? Yeah, well, she, exactly. You could do a whole season of something, and it's each episode is is a different ending. Yeah, yeah. You really, yeah, you could go nuts. But the talent in that movie, like they cast it so well. Yeah. Really impressive shit. I haven't seen that. I'm due for that. I'm trying to think of anything else I've been watching. Did you, you guys see the Oscars? I saw clips no. of the Oscars. I, mean, I don't watch the damn Oscars. I, I used to watch the Oscars. My brother ended up going like, he's like, this is the first year. He ended up watching like, he's like all but two films that were nominated for Best Of so he can have some sort of okay. an opinion. And I love him. He's a character. I swear we're going to, i am I'm been pushing them to do a podcast forever. Just get his bitch <laughs> um, ass in here. But uh, he texted me because I guess at the end, you know, Al Pacino came out. Yeah. And this wasn't, apparently it didn't make a lot of news, but the way my brother, you know, was getting to me, he's like, did you just see that? And I'm like, he texted me. I'm like, no, what are you talking about? He's like, Al Pacino did that. You should watch it. And I heard about it. The next day, he kind of just, you know, came out, started to talk a little bit, and then just kind of announced. The winner. The winner. Instead right. of, instead of I guess. Talking about the other talking about ones the, up for the, it. Uh, the ones that are up for it. Now, they do it differently these days, where yeah. they actually, throughout the night, they focus on each film and apparently they've minute. done that before they've done that before mm-hmm. it's been a thing for a while so but what was he supposed to do you just think just you would like say the names this one this one and the winner is i don't know man people so want to be up it? about something no no i didn't know it. it did seem like i said it... i saw i saw clips i saw the clip of like john cena coming out like all right that's pretty funny and i saw yeah. the clip of uh danny devito and arnold schwarzenegger yeah. pointing okay. out michael keaton as batman yeah. like, oh, that's cute yeah was well, it adorable yeah, that annoyed me. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> that annoyed yeah. you. It did. I watched it and I thought that they did a horrible job. I thought that you know, uh, <laughs> very off the cuff. It was just like this I mean, a... they knew they were supposed to do it. But it was yeah, it's improv. I, no, no, the delivery on Arnold Schwarzenegger annoyed me. I yeah, it was, okay. but <laughs> in the same note, like um, I don't know what it is, man. It's not like I hate him or whatever. Something about John Cena, um, trying to be funny bothers me 
because he like he he kind of acts like he's a comedic actor, and he's just I don't know he's just not funny to me. It's kind of like almost like The Rock. Like certain people, like dude, you just you're just not funny. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> see, I it's haven't... subjective. Yeah, that is very subjective. Like, I've is. seen The Rock be funny. I'm sure John yeah. Cena's. See, um, I, that's a, I, I don't watch a lot of John Cena movies. They're not, they're, <laughs> yeah, I'm not well, the demographic. They're part. out there. He's doing well. I'm not a big fan of his. Yeah, like I've turned off a movie with him in it because I was like, he was kind of annoying me. But my God, if I was in a movie, <laughs> no, no, I couldn't be because everyone would shut me off. I'm like 10 times more annoying. That's <laughs> so not true. Um, so I mean, but no, but he, he does. I, I feel this similarly. Uh, but at the same time, I've also heard... I, Things recently, I guess he was on uh, Stern a couple of times, but one of his, I guess you know, I don't know. I heard some clips of him just talking about. He just seems so fucking. I'm down sure he's earth. great. Yeah, no, he's seen. I'm sure he's great. Guy. You know, yeah. it comes from like comes from apparently like not much of anything, and has is such a positive dude. Right. I'm not a hating on him, guy. Where I've yeah. then grown to because otherwise before that I'd be like, ah, fuck John Cena. <laughs> Yeah. To, yeah, I was thinking of like I've seen him in something I've liked and I remembered it. It's the uh, that one Suicide Squad movie that James Gunn did. Okay. John Cena plays, I think, Peacemaker. Yeah. Which I yeah. Think it has it's, its own to show too. The show's supposed to be good too. But yeah. uh the the Suicide Squad movie, that one was good. Okay. And he was great in it. All right. So yeah. I'll, I'll recommend hating. that one. Not hating. I still haven't that seen one. the one that's considered good. You so. should. I think I you'd, should. you'd like it. And Peacemaker, it's, my brother thinks that is, uh, if he's like, if you like John Cena, it's like, it's a really good show. Here's what's tripping me out, blowing my mind, and I've been looking for it for months now because, you know, I've been talking about, like, I want to see that Godzilla minus one. Yeah, I do bad. too. It yeah. won Best Visual Effects yeah. in the Oscars. It's like, even uh, riding along with this whole Oscar win and stuff like that, it's still not available. Which yeah. is crazy. That is so well, weird. I, I look for it on Amazon. I was like, oh, it's not here yet. While it's topical as fuck, yeah. more than it ever has been, just We're, won the award, and you still can't pay for it streaming wise or anything. It's like someone's dropping the ball there. Something's well, something's weird about that. Where was it made? Uh, in Japan. Yeah. Why in the world wouldn't they be on that? I don't know. And it's really? been it was in the theaters for a long time. They even like extended it in the theaters in the states um, for a while. So it did well in the theaters. It won best VFX. Yep. Yeah. Man. Exactly. I, I want to see it just because, yeah, it's like I usually don't give a shit about Godzilla. Nor movies, would I. But this, yeah, there's so much buzz about this. So I was like, okay, shit, I'll, I'll watch this one. Apparently the story is like proper deep and like really well acted and stuff right. like that. So there's a, like a lot more. And Godzilla is just an asshole. Good. In this one. Exactly. Good, it it yeah. sounds perfect. These like new I, Godzilla and Kong movies are trying to be like, oh, Godzilla's a hero. It's like, he's a giant monster. <laughs> what are we doing? It's a cold-blooded right. fucking yeah. lizard. connecting to this? Yeah. <laughs> to him. The end of that movie is like, he saved us. I'm like, thousands of people are dead. <laughs> 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 no one would have this reaction of like, this thing. Thank goodness oh, he's here. Yeah, let's wear t-shirts <laughs> Thanks, with Thanks, Godzilla. Him. You're so great, Godzilla. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> God damn <All> right. it! Like, <laughs> yeah, like that, that's the way you do Godzilla. Like, yes, he's a prick. Exactly, he's a giant yeah. fucking monster. And yeah. So at the same time, you would hope then, I, if he's a bad guy, I want to see him dead. But I guess they have to have the whole like he gets away. I don't know. I don't runs know. Away, I don't know how they work. And like you're that. like, okay, because I mean, come on, you get a bad guy, the bad guy gets caught. So I have a feeling that this is just to be continued. Let's it's going to have to just run away into the ocean. I don't know. And yeah. cross your fingers, and then it's to be continued. It depends. They've killed him in some movies. Uh, yeah, yeah, the like the uh, the 1990 one. I didn't know. Yeah, he died. Yeah, I don't the remember. Internet. I just don't remember. I yeah. didn't actually watch they caught, any of that they, uh, shit. You know, they lured him onto the bridge, and then he got tangled in the bridge wires, and then they just hit him with like missiles from jets. I hope everybody ate well. What? If you ate kill well? the big thing, like you gotta, that's a lot of meat. That's <laughs> it's like, like okay, yeah, it's like, yeah, we're, a we're, lot of hunger in the world, you know? Right? Yeah, just yeah, you gotta radioactive Giant monster creature. meat. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, like how do you? Okay, maybe King yeah. Kong. Right. King Kong steaks, then. Yeah, Kong steaks. I don't know if I want to eat anything from Godzilla. <laughs> You're right. All right, fuck right. Godzilla. And who's who's eating the gorillas? I mean, well, God, I mean, we've got a giant big. gorilla. It's world hunger, baby. Yeah. Well, we have regular gorillas all over the place. Yeah, but not giant ones that just got shot. You saw it, man. Yeah, right. Some good <laughs> Kong jerky. Let's go. We're talking a lot of food. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you hate uh, starving people so much. 
They don't deserve the Kong meat. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sweet, All right. Thank sweet. you. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Would you eat King Kong yeah. meat? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, please do.